dark wings, dark words. I was only a boy when the raven came to call my father, Lord Eddard Stark, to another war. Balon Greyjoy had raised the Iron Islands in revolt and burned the Lannister fleet at anchor. King Robert Baratheon again needed his old friend. My mother Catelyn was not happy to lose her lord husband to Robert again. Six years before he had left her to avenge his father and brother against the Mad King. But now he had sons and daughters of his own, and, unspoken, another son who wasn't hers from the last time he went to war. My brother, Jon Snow. But she knew that in marrying my father she had married the North. We hold our honor and duty as dear as our old gods. When the time came, my father marched south to restore peace and order to the realm. My father always told me the Iron Islands were a strange and dangerous place. Its people, the Ironborn, keep neither the old gods nor the Seven, and despise all honest toil. Their ancestors ravaged the western shores, raping and slaving and putting it to the torch, and their songs still ring through the halls of the Ironborn, while everywhere else they are whispered to wayward children at bedtime. Perhaps Lord Balon thought Westeros had not healed from the war against the Mad King, and was as fragmented and suspicious as the ancient kingdoms his forebears had terrorized. Robert's navy corrected him at Fair Isle when they smashed the Proud Iron Fleet. Robert and my father corrected him at Pike, his own castle, when they pulled down his towers and breached his walls. My father never liked to speak of his battles. But from other men, I learned what transpired. Thoros of Mir was first through the breach with his flaming sword. Not far behind him was Jorah Mormont of Bear Island, my father's bannerman who earned the knighthood he would later shame, and lords from every corner of the Seven Kingdoms. All day, through every passage in the castle, they fought side by side. My father with our ancestral sword Ice, and King Robert with his war hammer against a horde of axe-wielding ironborn. In the end, Lord Balon bent the knee. King Robert generously allowed Lord Balon to retain his title and castle. The price of peace was custom. The only son of Balon's to survive his foolish rebellion would be taken as a hostage against future treasons. My father even volunteered to foster the boy himself, I suspect to make Theon Greyjoy a different man than his father, who would bring honor and duty to the Iron Islands when he returned as heir. So my mother's silent fear came true, and my father returned with another child. Theon ate with us, played with us, and fought with us. Once the great bond between my father and Robert Baratheon united the realm against the Mad King and brought him to justice for his crimes. Now, Another monster sits on the Iron Throne, and another debt of blood is owed my family. Theon is my murdered father's ward. I am my murdered father's son. Like my father and Robert, bound in blood, if not by blood, we are brothers.